What's up, YouTube? So today we're working on a 2013 Dodge Challenger SRT. We're going to take our pry tool, the ones that I recommend. I mean, you can get these off of Amazon, Stinger. You can get them on all kinds of places. You're just going to start with going to the top corner. Pop that out. Move on to the left. Just very little. You don't have to, you don't have to push or pull too much. It just pops right out. Make sure you have something protective over here so you're not scratching up the dash. And that releases that whole front bezel right there. Then you're going to come in here and remove these clips. You got this gray one right here, green one. And you got two more over here. See, start doing it with one hand. One more right here. Not set you guys back down. That's how you remove the bezel. On our 2013 Dodge Challenger SRT, which should be just like any other Dodge Challenger. We're gonna set that over here. We got our protective gear over here. Just gonna set that right there. It looks like you have versatile screws or a Phillip heads or seven millimeter. Okay, nope, it's not a seven millimeter, it must be a six. Pull them out. Okay, once you got all the screws out, I'm just gonna grab Underneath there's kind of like a, a grip you can get. It's pressed in here pretty tight. Pull that out. And you release the two harnesses on here. And then you have a couple, you have a USB cable and you have your Sirius XM and your regular antenna. That's what that looks like. Again, with these tabs, there's just a little release mechanism right at the bottom of this. You push that, pull out. All right. And that's how you remove the radio on a 2013 Dodge Challenger SRT.